Right, so now we'll open the tool called Windows ISO Downloader. Um, the da I'll gonna give. I'm gonna give you the link of this file in the description of this video. Um, now, I'm gonna wait to op for this to open. Um, uh, this ad you can just minimize it. Now we're gonna select Windows 8.1. Now select the edition. I'm just gonna select select any edition you want. I'm recommended to select Windows 8.1 slash Windows 8.1 Pro. I'm gonna click on Windows 8.1 here. And click confirm. Now select any language you want. I'm just gonna select English and click confirm. Now select any edition. First of all, check your system properties. And uh, you have six. I have 64, so I'm gonna select 64 bit. You have three options here. Open it. I I don't recommend it. Cancel if you want to stop can stop downloading it, and save. I recommend you to click save because it will save your download and click on D. I'm not gonna download it because I already downloaded the ISO. Okay. Now after you downloaded the ISO image, you have to you can install Windows 8.1 in three ways. First, you can burn the the ISO to a CD using Image Burn. Then you, or you can uh, make a USB bootable using Rufus. Or you can just uh, select, or you can just make a hard drive bootable. I did, I already did this in a previous video, so I'm gonna leave a link of it in the description. Alright, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna burn the CD, the ISO file to a CD using Image Burn. Select white image file to disk and select your ISO, your Windows 8.1 ISO you downloaded earlier. This option, this button of burning is not is not available because I don't have a CD. Now close it and download Rufus in case you want to make the USB bootable. Click on Rufus. And here, this point, click on Rufus 3.8. This doesn't want to clip. Doesn't want to download. Ah. Actually, I think I'm just gonna refresh this page. I'm sorry about this, but my computer sometimes get messy. Gets messy. I cancelled the download because I already downloaded the Rufus. Here, please press yes. If it prompts, and now select your ISO image. Be sure first your USB flash drive is inserted. Now this is a little bit complicated problem because we have the partition scheme GPT or MBR. If you have a newer machine than 2012, you can select. You can just let it with GPT. But I definitely select you to. I recommend recommend to select using MBR because MBR is the most common BIOS type for computers if any computer so I definitely for MBR the file system is NTFS and for GPT is FAT32 you can select you can type any label you want now click start and click OK I'm gonna click cancel because I already I don't need to make an USB flash drive bootable. Now, after your CD is done or your USB flash drive is bootable or even the hard drive is ready, you can just install Windows 8.1 on your computer. I'm just gonna install it on a virtual machine because I don't want to install it on a hard, real hard drive at this moment. The process is, uh, is similar as in on a real hard drive. 
here I'm going to select Windows 8.1, 8.x actually, and rename this to Windows 8.1. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna insert the ISO image first. Then I'm going to select a little more hard drive. Uh, RAM. RAM. 1.5 gigs of RAM. I click finish. Now here we go. Click on power on the virtual machine. Now press any uh, key. Press F2 for entering BIOS. Or any key it, it uh, asks you to open the BIOS in case you have an old hard drive it hardware is gonna ask you to press delete for opening BIOS for never mind for, first select the boot order you can just use boot menu also and now we, we have booted to the CD-ROM if you already have an operating system it will ask you to press any key but if it if have if you have an empty hard drive you can just um, it will just automatically boot boot to your CD or USB. Click install now. Here type a product key. The product key is gonna be in description. I'm just gonna type the most common product key. I'll click next. Now click I accept the license terms and click next. Click custom. You can't upgrade from here. Now click new and OK. If you already have an operating system, you just have to delete those partitions. Now click next. And now just wait. And now the updates are installed. And uh, it, will it should restart in any second. Here it is. Now click on restart now. At this point, don't press any key because you got the hard drive this time. Now it's loading for the first time actually and now it's gonna do some more stuff it's gonna do, it's gonna install some devices and uh, it will get windows ready for start for starting up here it is get it's getting the are getting devices ready This should shouldn't take that much. Depends on your hard hard. Depends on your hardware configuration. And now it's getting ready. This shouldn't take that much. Anyway, here it doesn't take. It's it's not going that fast. It's because I just edited this video. And now, and it's now it's restarting. As I said again, this time don't press any key. 
just let it boot from hard from the hard drive because if you want if you have to press any key if you'll have to install windows from zero that don't and it's not good to waste your time and now windows is starting for the first time now at this point we'll have to configure the windows here it is uh, first type your PC name and choose a color any color you want I'm just gonna leave this way this color and type your name let's say say no to errors and click on use express settings or customize basically the settings are the same so you know if so press are right, now it's gonna ask you to connect to Microsoft account if you are not connected to internet it's gonna it's gonna skip this part and create a an user account I don't I don't want to sign in using a Microsoft account because I don't want to expose my identity so I'm going to I'm going to create a new account yeah, it's working let's sign in without the Microsoft account let's type a name username and say say no to errors I hope it's working enough it's not working let's using uh, small letters nope it's just the same let's just make it different than the computer name errors let's say and now it's basically finalizing your settings all you got to do is just wait it won't take that much depends on your hardware and um, this screen prompts up and now we got this colorful part And now let's start and here we are Windows 8.1 is now installed now basically what you have to do right now is install the drivers in order to make Windows 8.1 work smooth my drivers are VMware tools because I'm using a virtual machine and that this is the program that the program that makes VMware works work smoother. I right, now installed VMware tools. Now basically, as you can see, we, we have down here a watermark that says Windows 8.1 Pro Build Night. It means that Win Windows is not activated. In order to activate it, I'm going to give here is the product key. We'll basically have to activate Windows 8.1 using command prompt using those comments press win, win point plus X and uh, first type this comment copy and paste it and replace your slash your key to the Windows 8.1 key press enter copy this and as you can see it says that key is installed now press enter and copy this one and paste it here and press enter and here we go Windows 8.1 is now installed now and here we go the Windows is activated
Now, in order to use to be able to use this op operating system, you can you'll have to download browsers or all the stuff. You can download download any browser you want. At this point, I'm going to download Mozilla Firefox because this is the browser I'm using, and I've got used to it. You can also download Opera, Opera or Google Chrome. Um, I don't recommend to use Internet Explorer because I think after 2020 it's not gonna be stable. And now let's just save this. You can download in the same way. In the same way, you can download Google Chrome or Opera or any browser like Safari or all the stuff. At this point, I'm just gonna run this. In Mozilla Firefox installation installer and uh, it's now installing and now here we are Windows 8.1 is installed <laughs> let's open it and now at this point You can download any software you want, like you can download Office, you can download Steam in case you are gaming, in case you are playing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry but I'm a bit nervous. Let's close this first. Now, my, comp my computer is a little slow. No, wait. Uh, as you may know or not, some people critics are criticizing Windows 8.1 for its style. Don't prob no problem. You can make it make the interface like looking like Windows 7. You all you got to do is download Classic Shell and click on the first option and click press here. Click download. Click on save file. Me personally, this interface, Metro interface, doesn't bother me that much. I really like it. But if you don't, if you don't like the Metro interface, you can install Classic Shell. Click yes. You can put in the, in the computer on the desktop. Here we go. I'm, I'm sorry, it is called this PC. Click finish. Now press on the start button and you can customize it the way you want. Here it, uh, here it's actually how it actually looks. You can replace the start button. I think it looks better without the start button. So I'm going to uncheck this and click on skin and uh, use Windows Arrow. It looks better. So now click OK. And here we are. The you know, you disable this. And here we are. We made Windows 8.1. We installed Windows 8.1 as a. It, I definitely recommend you to install Windows 8.1 because it's more stable than Windows 10, but not as stable as Windows 7. Alright, so thanks for watching and see you next time.